Hi, it's Hazy. Um, hi, I'm just going to show you how I make a collage. But I'm not going to tear the paper, I'm going to cut the paper. Well, the paper's already cut into um, scraps like that. And um, I'm going to join the pa some paper together with some washi tape to make a big, long... Thing. Right, okay, so make a big long thing. Make a make a double page so it's nice and big. Um, what I was going to do first, and I forgot all about it, was I was going to make, I was going to actually um, show, <laughs> do some stretched papers so I can, so that if you use wet glue, it won't get all crinkly. But I don't know if it will, I'd like to see if it will work with, um, this sort of paper because normally I use uh, let's move that up there. I better move a bit far down, aren't I? Normally I use um, if I'm going to make that, it would be watercolor paper. You stretch that so that when your watercolors go onto the paper, it um, doesn't buckle. Right, and I can't find my washi tape. Oh yes, it's here somewhere. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to use this brown, but. I'll use the brown. <clears throat> this new brown. I've got some weird... <laughs> I don't know what this means. Well, it's a bit weird. I think it would done if it's made by... Sweet. Are the uses of adversity? The rest is silence. Some rise by sin. Some rise by... Some by virtue fall. I don't know if I'm going to use that in a... Journal. So I'm going to... So I'm going to use it as my um, tape to seal the back. <laughs> I, it was, oh, I suppose you could use some of the words like sweet. Um, I don't know. That's an odd bit. But anyway, you know, it's not done it brilliantly, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to go for that anyway with some paper. Right. I'm going to use today uh, <laughs> this huge print. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got hairs and everything. That's the trouble with hair. Oh, no, it's not hair. It's a piece of paper. It's one of those cut off pieces. You know, you do a sliver of paper. I say, normally get hairs. I've got cats in this house. And um, we've let them go everywhere. So you can see. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I'm just going to glue, and I'm not necessarily going to use, I like bright colours sometimes, but I have got some lovely coffee dye paper that I've pr um, scanned and printed as well, and these are all my designs. Um, when I would design, when I can still do it. <laughs> Some pretty um, designs. And you can do these in black and white as well, but I'm using obviously using colour. Um, okay, where are we? Let's get some nice I've got all sorts, got thin and thick. And I'll show you actually what inspired me to. I will I show you if I can see it. What inspired me to actually do these? Um, I have got it open somewhere, ready. But I don't know where it is. That's weird. It was here. Hmm. Hate this. Oh yeah. Oh, I've found it now, it's all underneath my got a big pack of paper, but it's underneath that. Right, this is what inspired it. Where are we? Ah, oh, this I like this this um collage I've done there, the little bits of strips of paper. I've used some really long ones and some really that's one of my little flowers. Uh, it was originally white paper. 
and I've uh, coloured it over with oxides. It's really easy. I'll show you how to do that one day. Where are they? Oh, yeah, there. She's still there. <laughs> I thought you'd gone. Um, yeah, this do these, and I love these little stamps. And I bought these from, and I've done some stitches around it. I bought them from. Uh, where have I bought them from? I can't remember the. It's Etsy. Downloads, and the little stamps, and they are lovely. We've got butterflies, birds, I think. Am I? Are we rocking? Why are we rocking? Shouldn't be rocking. That's definitely not me. But anyway, that's what I will show you how to do one day. Really pretty. And, uh, right, okay. Now, where are we? Right, I've got all these little bits of scraps I'm going to glue down. Now, what I was, I was going to do, as I said, was uh, do the... Um, um, stretching so we could use because I tried it and it just went completely crinkled so we don't want that game do we um uh, that's actually that's a uh, vintage velvet uh, there on that uh, thing on this one vintage velvet and antique something antique linen oxides on that and we're gluing that down i don't know why that's rocking because it doesn't usually <laughs> it's really really still hey keep still it will rock now just a minute i hope that's okay i don't know what's happened Anyway, I was in the middle of gluing this. And doing that yesterday, I don't know what's up with it. Well, I'm just going to try something else. <laughs> right then, let me try again. Okay, so I was just telling you about the stretching of the paper. So I don't know if it will work with this um, this sort of paper, but it definitely works with watercolour paper. And you look, it's, even this is buckling a bit, but I think this will settle because it's quite thin. Right then. I was, I was thinking about talking about the the cats, which I've already mentioned. So to get a lot of hairs, and we've got two. Two well, currently we've got two rescue cats. Well, technically we've got two rescue cats, um, but we've got five altogether. And I was thinking about telling you about the one with, that was just in the room a minute ago. She's gone now. She was in the room. She's a little fluffy uh, two and a half kg. That means that's, that's really tiny for a cat. Um, because when she was born, she was, I'll show you my palm of my hand, she was that big. Eight weeks old when we first got her. And we were told she was eight weeks. We think I think she must have been. Um, because she didn't have any problems. So... Um, I think a nice contrast though would be good. Just doing it as and when, not even thinking about it. Look, <laughs> thinking about it then as a contrast. So we got Treacle when she was eight weeks old, and we um, found that she was really, really, really. Even my table rocks. Right. We found that she was really, really, really timid. The timidest little cat we've ever had. Ever. 
and she still is really <laughs> you go boo and she runs but um but she's ever so sprightly she's the nearly 14 she jumps over the big cat if she wants to if she wants to come in and he's in the way she jumps over him and that's not very good i don't like that white showing and um it's quite a little lady i call her she looks like a little sprightly old lady i love her for that oh dear, that's not i don't like that. i'm gonna cut off <laughs> it's both sides was it yeah Right, I'm going to try and cut this a little sliver of with my favourite scissors. I love these scissors, got a serrated edge. You can even see that, what I'm doing. Right, so she's um, 14 years old, sprightly. We got her when she was eight weeks old, timid, tiny, still is tiny, and um, Obviously, she grew, and when she was 16 weeks old, we um, acquired her brother, Gimli. Now, he's not the one we've got, unfortunately, but we did have him. So when he was 16 weeks old, he was half the size of Treacle. Now, I can imagine Treacle was tiny when she was this, when she was this big on the palm of her hand. She was probably, I don't know, I'm not sure how, how big she was, but I know that he was, you would think he was about 10 weeks old, the size he was, at 16 weeks. And um, his fur was like, um, it was all, all um, what do you call it? <sighs> Looks like it was, it was damp and weird. And... Um, I looked it up on the internet and it seemed to be that he was a didn't mean to make this a colourful actually. <laughs> he seemed to he seemed to be dehydrated, which does actually match what happened to him. That seems to do. So he was half size of it and he did live till he was nine years old or around nine years old eight and a half nine and um he was oh i don't know why this looks quite nice really isn't it? i think it looks nice nice and um so you could dumb it down a bit i think with some if you wanted to if you have this bright you could sort of dumb it down with some Thanks. Inks. Yeah. So, so these sudden times come out with little songs. I'm afraid. My daughter does the same. So she's obviously as mad as me. One of my daughters, my middle daughter, she does the same. Um. <laughs> so I've got off you, mother. She calls me mother. Anyway. Um. <laughs> so, so we had him. Yeah, it was really. It was really sudden because he was not at nine and we, it did seem a bit off. But I thought, oh, you know, we'll take him to the vet on Monday if he's not any better, which was over the weekend. But it, it was, I think it was Monday morning, Sunday or Monday. Sunday or Monday, Saturday, Sunday or Monday, that he had died in the night. So it was really, really sudden. But we wonder if it was his kidneys or something. Because, I mean... It was it was rather sudden, but we didn't we never found out what happened officially, but because of what happened when he was a little tiny kitten, it looked like he was denied water. They didn't, and they did say that Treacle did like biscuits only. So it doesn't like this had any wet food. Um, so we don't know how you know we didn't know. Um how many cats there were but there were looks like there were two kittens um we managed to get but they were so i mean gimli he was lovely a lovely little cat he was he was also quite small and the fact that apparently they called him children called him 
Gimli because um, he was a dwarf, you know, dwarf like out of Red Dwarf, the Red Dwarf, Red Dwarf, <laughs> out of uh, Lord of the Rings and then sort of, uh, that sort of thing. The Hobbit, the Lord of the Rings. There's a character Gimli in that. I think we've got other, we've got other characters from Lord of the Rings as well from uh, that. Um, all right. I know this is a bit colourful. <laughs> I didn't, uh, didn't mean, never mind, it doesn't matter because I'm just making it and talking. Anyway, I love this, I'm going to make some pockets out of it anyway. And I can, in, was it ink around it? <laughs> and, right, okay, and also, oh, she's come back in now. She's, oh, a little baby, aren't you? Yes. I don't know if you heard her, she went, Rrr. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I forgot about that actually. <laughs> she, she looks quite funny because the other cats, I think, pick on her because one of her ears is bent because she had to have an operation um, on her ears when she was tiny, eight weeks, no, eight weeks, must be bigger than that. But uh, she, her ear kept filling with blood and so if it didn't stop, she'd have to have an operation and she had to have her ears sewn so it's all spinned down everything. She, she's got a bent ear. And a um, one that sticks up. And I don't know, the cats might think she's angry with them or something. <laughs> I always think that. <laughs> and that's why they sort of pick on her. I don't know why they pick on her. She's a little sweetie, aren't you? They also pick on um, the other black cat. But I do, she's probably, they probably think she's a part-timer. Because she's always off in the field. Um, um, catching... Well, she used to catch, she used to bring rabbits home. <laughs> so we've got fields at the bottom there. Where they all walk there, everybody walks the dogs. And um, so we often see dogs. I can see, I'm sitting next to the window now. And you can see, you can see dogs. Not now, but I did, I did a minute ago see somebody in the, in the, in the park as well, which is there. I think there used to, I think used to be loads of trees there, but they're all gone. I don't think you used to be able to see into the park. Right. Um, okay. So, oh, look, I've left a gap. Right, so I was going to tell you about um, our other cat. Or the, I was going to tell you a thing about tree corn. This must be something I've missed. Oh, when she was tiny, she did get stuck inside a washer pipe. It was only about, I don't know, it was about that big washer pipe. You know, like, you know when you empty, oh, there's somebody with a dog now. Um, I think it's a German shepherd. Um, you can, you, um, I think you have the pipe at the back of the washer somewhere and it empties outside or empties behind the cupboard. So we had to go, we had to take the wash, washer out. We had to, um, and we found her in the pipe, thankfully. She, she's so timid, aren't you? She's such a timid little lady. And another thing I was thinking we can do, and I forgot about this. Now, this is that really weird uh, colour. I think it looks a bit <laughs> like going off meat sometimes, but never mind. It's this one. This, I've got more than one. Yeah, I think it's that one. Anyway, what I was thinking of doing is getting your rubber stamp. With this one's got lots of little words on it. I know it's a. Um, it's not mounted. I've got some mounting stuff somewhere, but so and I've got some little words. And I was thinking, and I don't put it that. If I put it that way round, it doesn't. Where are we? I was, I was showing you. If I put it that way round. I find it doesn't print, so what I do is put put it this way around, and I think it prints a lot better. But obviously, you might not want it to print everywhere. And got some lovely little words as well on it. You've got um, star, adore, dream, mystery, wonder, perfect, joy, embrace, things like that. It got loads of little words. I love that stamp. But it was quite good, and then you could put that. Let's put a few more 
Let's have a look. We'll put that up there. Put that. Perhaps put a few more logs sticking to it now. Put a few little wood more words on that one. Yeah. That's good. So we've got some nice print on that. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, I always find it's pr I print better if I do it that way around rather than trying to. I mean, something like that, especially. Oh, that's going to look quite nice, isn't it? It's like a rainbow now. <laughs> but never mind. Right, this isn't um, one of my favourite papers, but now I've done that, I think it's good. Right. Some like little scraps of paper, and I want, as I say, I like the uh, elongated ones because they go across. It's a bit like washi tape, I suppose. I have got some washi tape, uh, washi tapes. Oh, that one's got butterflies on it. Got this. This is this is like from a brown section, so you can pick. And put them along for interest as well. And I'll cut it. I have got I have got a little tool thing that I use that um, I use sometimes. So oh, I'll, right. Oh, right. So there's um, let's have a look. Um, now let's find something else. Ah, oh, that one again. I've got some ones with, I've got, surely I've got some ones with words on somewhere. <laughs> oh, here's some. I've got one up there. That's another one the same as that one. I think there's a bit bright, I don't know. Oops. Okay. I don't know how we're getting on. But I'm just putting these down and I'm just putting them down and putting them down and seeing how we're going along. Um I was gonna tell you about the cats. Oh, I was going to talk was I going to talk about Jubbly. He is our big biggest cat really, but it is not enormous. But he's a lot bigger than the other one. <laughs> Twice the size of treacle in weight. Now here's another rescue. Um, they found him. Well, we didn't find him. Somebody we know found. Well, somebody knows daughter found him on a piece of wasteland, covered in lice, fleas, and ticks, and he couldn't walk because of them. And they think he was about one year old at the time. Uh, we've had him since 2014 and uh, oops, and he was um, yeah, we thought he was quite young but then I can't remember when it was we took him to the vet no, I'm stopping now we took him to the vet uh, because <laughs> poor little thing had um, a swollen face one day and this is in January and they said that he'd, he must have found a wasp or something and disturbed it and obviously it was angry and um, he was um, stung by it and his mouth had all swollen up all under his chin. So we took him to the vet and we took him to, um, to the, I think, I think it was then, it was either then or another time, we took him to the vet and he, they said that um, he um, had, uh, how old, we asked how old he was, and they said, or well, the vet said, they thought he was between two and six. I thought, really? Two and six? That's a bit um, unusual, because we thought he was like two, probably, but not six. So he could be 13. As much as 13, but I don't think so. I mean, I don't know really. <laughs> I mean, they do get sort of brown fur. Cat, black cats tend to get brown fur after a bit, don't they? So, um, oh, that's the one. No, that's not, that's actually not the one I was going to. Was it the one? 
no, that was not the one. I, oh, I do like this. these stars. I love those stars. All the way around here. Um, that I did. Um, ah, no, that's not it either. Um, some really nice little coloured... Oh, I know, I haven't cut it, have I? It's up there. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter about that. Anyway, as I said, you can... And I've done it up there, used um, to give it a bit of a more vintagey look. Can ink them up. Oh, as I say, ink them up. <laughs> Everybody else says ink them up. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about Jubilee. Um, so, we had him, and we don't know, we have no idea how, how old he is. So, he could be to nine, he could be 13. So, um, that was, I thought that was quite uh, interesting. So, I don't know what to say about him. Apart from he's a big, he's a big black and white tuxedo, you know, he's with a white. Well, he's got, he's not got the proper, like, what you call him, uh, that whiskers. Is it whiskers? Not whiskers. Felix. That's it. Felix character with the black and white. Um, well, the white nose and the um, black face, and then he's got a big, um, big white. Um, chest he's sort of like that but he's got a bit of a black he's got half a moustache and half a beard on the same side <laughs> so it looks like a bit like a bit like black beard I suppose half black beard so um, he's really sweet um, right. so Love to know if you've got any pets. I'm adding animals, as you probably can tell. I've also got my daughter's dog here at the moment as well. Um, he's gorgeous. He's not in the room, but he's absolutely gorgeous. Being a good boy, teaching him not to bark at people. Um, because he's one of these that will suddenly make people jump well he was i mean we've <laughs> we've managed to um persuade him we've persuaded him that he likes treats um rather than barking at everyone right i was going to say as well i don't know how many minutes there are well i can sit there oh we're 28 minutes already that was quick Right, so I'm going to stop this and finish this off because I don't want to um, kill everybody with boredom. So I'm going to finish it off and I'll come back, okay? Hi again, I'm just back. <laughs> I know, it doesn't seem like I've been anywhere, but I thought I would just show you what I've done so far. I've just um, almost finished, but I've got a Zoom meeting soon, so I was trying to just finish off quickly. Um, where are we? Are we there? We can we see? I can't see brilliantly, but oh, there's the sunlight you should be able to see nicely. Hold on, we've got extra bits trying to join in. I'm going to cut off um, these bits, and I do re I really like this actually. I thought I was actually going to make it more brown or yellow, like the um. You know, like vintage. But if you don't like this, you can always do it your own colours. Um, obviously. <laughs> your own papers, your own scraps. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing for brilliant thing for scraps. It says so my daughter's dog's just popped in. <laughs> He's gone there. And um, hopefully we record and I can't even see because the sunlight's on it. Okay, so hopefully you like that. I think that's amazing. I've done some more 
um, little bits and I did a bit there that you don't know if you could see <laughs> there oh there there sorry I'm going too high it's there where you I've uh, pretended that uh, it was done before but actually I did it actually on the sheet but the other ones I have I think it looks really nice especially with those bits on it that I've actually printed and I'm going to oh, I haven't finished cutting cutting it's this bit here I'm trying to show you what I'm doing but obviously it's not not doing up in the corner there it's frustrating when I don't do it properly isn't it okay so if you do like what I've done please like share and uh, subscribe please and um, I'd love to see you again and I'm going to want hopefully next time um, and I've noticed there's a little place there that I didn't where are we that I didn't uh, finish so I'm just going to finish that as well um, I do hope that you enjoyed what you've seen today and enjoyed my chats about the cats and there's lots more pet, pet talk from that where it came from kid talk family talk <laughs> life talk where that came from and um, I do hope that you will come back and see me again thanks very much and goodbye from Hazy